Hello everyone, today we're going to watch a video of a woman who issues a warrant for arrest to the United States Congress. She's a sovereign citizen, freeman on the land, who wants to arrest the United States Congress for genocide and crimes against children. Uh, frankly, it's interesting, a little ridiculous, and I'm going to break down this arrest warrant that she issues for the United States Congress in my analysis after the video. Thank you for joining Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. On this channel, we analyze sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and people behaving badly. If you like my content, please sign up for my email list. There's a link below. You get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Now, many of you come here for another reason. We have a ritual on this show where we take a sip of coffee together because it tastes better before every video. Raise your glass, your cup in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. This is dedicated to quitting the nonsense. Cheers. Let's watch this video. Well, good morning, everybody. It is May the 11th, 2020. I'm Cindy K. Courier, and this is a universal public service announcement that comes in the way of an arrest warrant issued yesterday. Warrant number 2020-5-10.1 arrest all members of the 116th United States Congress Arrest and detain at Guantanamo Bay Detention Facility. Wanted for questioning related to genocide, healthcare fraud, financial fraud, child sex trafficking, and crimes against humanity. Be it known as of December 1st, 2014, under the court decision of August 25th, 2014, which convicted the United States Corporation and their officers of fraud, extortion, human trafficking, involuntary servitude, murder, high treason, and crimes against humanity, all corporate governmental, judicial, and enforcement powers and authority are revoked and nullified, and all such personnel are hereby ordered to immediately stand down. Any corporate governmental intervention into this matter is considered a breach of the peace. Be it further known that anyone disregarding this order is considered personally liable for acts leading to crimes against the people and faces immediate arrest and detainment. Whereas the Armistice and Accord of November 22, 2013 states that all inhabitants of Earth are heirs of creation, and whereas through the letters patent of December 15, 2013, an indemnified court, the Court of Ages, was established, and whereas the will of each heir of creation is assured by the law of nature, and whereas the conditions set forth by the heirs of creation through court order in the Armistice and Accord of November 22, 2013, have been breached. And whereas Clause 6 of the Armistice states, breaches of these clauses shall result in reprisals. And whereas, according to international law, a reprisal is an act of restoration short of war for damage or loss suffered. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Court of Ages, on behalf of the people, that immediate action be taken to arrest all members of the 116th United States Congress. Order issued this 10th day of May, 2020. Signed, Cindy K. Courier, Court of Ages. And so, it is. This woman has a, a, a nice face and a nice voice, but just because you read something that you wrote uh, in a very nice way doesn't give it actual power. Also, just because you write a document with very official words, very official looking, doesn't mean that it has any legal effect, okay? Uh, this woman, Cindy K. Courier, uh, she has this... Um, YouTube channel called Rise Together. I looked at it. Um, she's got some nice videos in there, but there's no doubt in my mind she's a full-blown sovereign citizen freeman on the land. She believes the United States is a corporation. The United States is a corporation, runs all these other countries as corporations. It's true the United States has an outsized influence over other countries, all right, but that's the United States government, which is not a corporation, okay? Sure, you could draw nice analogies between government 
government and corporation, but you can draw nice analogies between any group. And if you keep doing that, it becomes completely meaningless. Oh, corporations use pieces of paper to get things done and send memos just like government. They're the same thing. Sorry, ma'am. That's not the way it works. Government is very different. Um, she claims that the government, that the United States Congress is guilty of, uh, I believe, something along the lines of child trafficking and genocide. Uh, those are some pretty heavy claims to be leveling against the United States government, especially in a YouTube channel. Uh, frankly, it's ridiculous. Um, she has her own court that she appears to have set up, the Court of Ages. And if you go to her site, you can access some of these documents, the Court of Ages, the Heir of creation, the letters patent, the armistice of accord. Again, using fancy letters and holding your own fake courts doesn't give it any authority. All right. And when one thing that she does and a lot of other sovereign citizens do is, oh, the natural law, the natural law, the government doesn't have authority over me. Only God does. Da, 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 da. Let, let me do a little history lesson for you. All right. Prior to civil, civilization started uh, essentially with the rise of agriculture. That's not entire, you know, it was a gradual thing where pe groups of uh, human beings have been around for hundreds of thousands of years living as hunter gatherers. All right. Sort of like uh, some Native American groups lived actually not that long ago. And these hunter gatherers were, were small groups of families. All right. And when, when you would say there were no written down laws, there was no law at that time. It didn't exist, all right? Do you know what ruled the day? The rule of survival, survival of the fittest. So how were these groups organized? The strongest, usually a male, the strongest male in the group told everybody else what to do. All right. And uh, if they didn't consent, all right, the male who probably had some other males who also lived around him, they might kill that person or throw them out of the group. That's it. That's it. These laws that you hate and you want to tear down were created to protect you. So these, you know, small groups that fought other small groups, there were no rules. There were no laws. There was no civilization. Life was short, brutish, nasty, and you constantly had to fight other people for land and territory. All right, then we move into the age of agriculture. And once we have agriculture, people are able to settle down and write down rules and laws. I'm not saying everything was great at that time, all right? But at least then people knew what the law was when, with the advent of writing. So uh, fast forward over the centuries and you get a thing called democracy. And in democracy, People get to choose and participate in what's happening in their society. What constitutional democracies try to do is to take those God-given rights and put them into law so that they can be protected. Because without law or Congress or separation of powers, there's nothing to protect your God-given rights. And a stronger person will come and take whatever you think is yours, okay? So the Constitution and our government is not perfect, but boy, it is pretty darn good compared to the alternatives. The alternatives are survival of the fittest. This concept of human natural rights, which was really brought to the forefront with the 14th, 15th, and 16th centuries, all right, you can Google all this stuff, the Renaissance, the scientific revolution, okay, um, these things brought human rights to the forefront. And then what the founders of the United States did in many other countries afterwards was to take these human rights and codify them. That's why we have the Bill of Rights, which guarantees things like freedom of speech, freedom to practice of your religion, freedom um, from unreasonable search and seizure. Our country is set up to protect the natural law and the natural rights, and you want to tear it all down. That's why I call sovereign citizens anarchists. They're either anarchists or totalitarians to the, to the largest degree. If you want to go somewhere where the state of nature, natural law lives, there's countries like that out there. Go to Syria. Go to Somalia. There's no tyranny of law, okay? And, and you know who rules there? Whoever's got the most guns. 
So you can go to those countries where you don't have any natural rights and you don't have any laws written down. Constitution and our laws protect your rights, not your fake court of ages or heir of creation or this fake United States corporation stuff, all right? Knock it off. Knock it off. You're very nice and intelligent. You should knock off this nonsense. So a little bit of rant. You can check out her video, Rise of Rise Together. It's got 13.8 thousand subscribers out there, you know, spreading this nonsense all around. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, Common Sense Academy. I'm here to dispel sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and other people behaving badly.